I suppose one can really say that the central problem in the philosophy of mathematics is a direct parallel to the central problem in the philosophy of science, namely, how does it fit the world? With science, it's how does science fit the world? In mathematics, it's how does mathematics fit the world? Is that right? That's right, and it's even worse, because if you're trying to defend a copy view, a correspondence view of truth in empirical science, you can answer the question, well, how do we build up this picture in such a way that it corresponds by saying we have sense organs? As I mentioned before, that's not a total answer because there's a tremendous amount of interpretation involved in simple seeing and simple hearing. But if, you, or if you're talking about numbers and sets, and someone says, okay, if mathematical knowledge is simply some kind of a copy of the way numbers are and the way sets are and the way other abstract objects that mathematicians study are, the question then, what sense yes. enables us to see how they yes. are? What because is a number? What? Yes, yes. A deeply problematic question, yes. but still an important one. That's right. And on the other hand, I don't want to say that the anti-correspondence view has it very easy either. It seems to me that mathematical knowledge is a real puzzle. And I think that philosophers should concentrate more on philosophy of mathematics than they do now, because it seems to be an area where no theory works very well. 